Okay, let's talk about some STEM books. First off, what is STEM? It's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And these are topics that you're going to want to expose your kids to from an early age. I wanted to talk about this uh, very quickly. I'm going to try to blast through these books because there's so much I could show you. Usborn is known for its science books. So there's so much here that you could find and basically any topic your child is interested in, you can find it on our site. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is these pocketbooks. These are only $4.99. They're cute little books with tons of color where they have the different cre critter or creature or whatever it is with their science facts. Those are so fun to carry around and I've caught my eight-year-old daughter with that as her car book. She likes to take it with us when we go places and try and find birds. We have birds, mammals, insects. We have a couple different varieties of those. We have, for the earliest of readers, um, Us Born Young Beginners. So this is a book about flowers. We have a, several different topics to choose from and I'll show you. They're so colorful that kids are just really drawn to them. Um, but the text is nice and large and um, very easy to read and full of great facts about whatever the topic of that book is. Now we have peek inside books, look inside books, and see inside books. The peek inside books are great for younger kids. Look inside is great for ages three and up. And so here's look inside your body. For example, you've got this flap book here where the flaps open, you can see inside the different body systems. Look inside has flaps within flaps, which is a lot of fun. Um, so let's look inside your body. And then we have see inside. Now those are for a little bit older kids. We recommend those for ages seven and up. So this one, as you can see, has been well loved. My eight year old has loved this book. Um, but this is see inside your body. So it's a little bit more in depth information as opposed to the little bit more basic information of look inside your body that I just showed you. See inside has more detailed information about all these different body systems. And on every page are multiple flaps where you can see inside the body and see inside the system, understanding the body better. Those are so great because anytime a child's hands are involved in the reading, they're retaining the information. So exposing your kids to science books that are actually exciting and, and interesting is going to show them that that information is fun and it's exciting to learn from an early age. And these are the secrets books. So these are shine a light books. This one is secrets of the vegetable garden, brand new in January of 2016 and secrets of winter. This one was new in the fall of 2015. And let me just show you real quick. I'll show you inside of the vegetable garden how this works. On the back of the colored page, there's a black and white image that will shine through when you use a flashlight, shining against the black and white page through to the front of the colored page. So it reveals a hidden image here. These are nonfiction books, but they are so interactive and fun and exciting. We have two of my favorites. These are um, 100 Things to Know About Science and the Astronaut's Handbook. And these are a little bit similar. The Astronaut's Handbook obviously is all about space. It has um, a foreword by Katie Coleman, who's a female astronaut. The 100 Things to Know About Science is just so much fun. Every single page is a different thing to know about science. So here's page 20, or item number 22, and it's all about the Earth. And then 23 is all about tsunamis. And it's just a really fun, colorful book. If you have a kid that's into coding and computer development and software and that kind of thing, Lift the Flap Comp Computers and Coding is an awesome book. It's like I said, a Lift the Flap book. It has great information about how computers work, how coding works, that kind of thing. And then we have this brand new book, brand new January 2016, Coding for Beginners. This literally teaches your child how to program in the Scratch computer language. If you don't know what that is, it's fine. I didn't know what it was either. Apparently, it's a coding language that you use to program computer programs and games and that kind of thing. So this is a complete beginner's guide to Scratch. So if you have a child that's learning about coding, that's going to be an awesome one for them. We also have Lift, Lift the Flap Times Tables. Now this is such a cool book and it really teaches your kids how to do times tables. Each page is about a different um, number. So this is the five times tables and you have the flaps and it puts it in a very visual format to learn how to do your times tables. And then this is another really cool math book I'm super excited about. It's called This Is Not A Math Book. It's a workbook. Your child will get to write inside of it. And it is more focused on the art 
of math. So art and math go hand in hand, you just hadn't realized it. So this is all about um, pattern, symmetry, shape, creating perfect circles, triangles, designing tessellations. Um, whether they're a math whiz or they just really like art, this is a graphic guide to mathematical art. Those are some of my favorite STEM books and I hope that those give you some great ideas for science, technology, engineering, and math books that you might want to expose your kids to. Talk to you guys soon.